Hello, welcome back to The Interface. My name's Alex, and today we're looking at the infotainment system on the Nissan Aria. So we've got a 12.3 inch infotainment screen, and we have got support for wireless Apple CarPlay and also wireless Android Auto, which is fantastic. So down here, we have got a sort of a large screen, and we have got four different pages or five different pages. So on the first screen, it is a little bit slow. Um, we have got shortcuts to the map. We have got the nearest charger, because this is an EV, and we've got Apple CarPlay up there. And then we have got device connections, got guest users, Amazon Alexa, all apps, uh, connections, Nissan Connect services, uh, energy usage, this will tell us how much energy we used and also where we are in the country, um, and also the clock there, and we have got two blank pages, oh, we've got one blank page. So we are gonna go through all the different options one by one and see what we've got basically. So Apple CarPlay is not connected currently. This will tell us where our nearest, nearest charging station is. So. The nearest one is up the road in Kington. Um, so that's Instavolt Kington. What information do we have on there? So let's have a look. This is a little bit slow. So, okay, it possibly needs um, data from my phone to work. Oh, no, here we go. Um, so this one says Instavolt Kington. There's a phone number. There's also DC Quick Charge Plugs 2. It doesn't tell me what plugs they are, but I imagine they're probably CCS2 if this car is showing me that because this car does have CCS2 only. Um, cool, that's basically where the charging stations are. Charging stations are. We've got a map as well. Um, so yeah, we have got some restaurants items down here. So let's have a quick look. We've got where the nearest pubs are. So that's quite cool. Uh, we've got where the nearest fuel stations are. This might be, that is petrol stations. Okay, that's a bit odd. I'd imagine that I would have thought that this map system would have told me where the nearest EV stations are, but oh well. Um, that one is work location. That one is traffic jams, potentially. Yep, that's cool. That one is traffic information. This one is home location and that sort of stuff in there. And then what we can do is search, let's say, Big Ben and list. And then is it going to tell me where to charge? Because I've got 99 miles of range. Let's select that, France. So it's more... It's bigger distance than what I've got in the car. Or range I've got in the car, sorry. Uh, yes. Searching for optimal route with charging stations. Route will update once completed. Okay. I don't know if it's going to tell me where to stop, but what's this? What's the blue icons mean? Sherwell Valley? Hmm. So it, I don't know if it is telling me where to charge, but that would be pretty good if it was. It isn't, this isn't the best system in the world. Um, what do these ones mean here? Does that mean the charging stations? Yeah, those widgets are not clickable, which is really odd. Um, just that's where the services are. Okay. Oh, well. Um, yeah, um, it would be good if EVs would tell you where to charge, but oh, well. Um, let's go to the home page. Oh, yeah, before I go any further, we have got some stuff on the right-hand side here. Um, we have got notifications. We've got the home page itself. We've got a shortcut to the map icon as well. Uh, we've got music and stuff there. Uh, that's the radio on there. Uh, we have got the phone icon there, no phone connected, and then we have got the climate control stuff there as well. So that's pretty good. We've got the haptic buttons below the screen as well for the fan speed. So yeah, back on the home page, we've done those three icons there. We have got now got uh, the devices, so connections. So my phone is was synced up earlier, so that's CarPlay, wireless CarPlay, which is really good. We have got we have got the users, so we've got change users, and we've got sync profile with intelligent key, welcome message, user profiles, that sort of stuff. Got all apps here, got notifications, same as this bit here. We've got Nissan Connect services, and from there you can call Nissan Assistance, favorite channels, information channels, and history. We've got downloaded apps as well, got all apps, Alexa. We've got weather, data, data's off, we've got uh, EV as well. So that will tell me estimated range, which is about 99 miles now. Oh, okay, so what we have got is a grey map giving us sort of an overview of where we could go if, we've, if we don't charge. And then they've got charging stations as well. We've got options in there for different places. They've got charging schedules, so if you're plugging this in overnight, um, you have got the ability to sort of schedule it if you've got a smart tariff for your EV. And we've got climate control timer and then energy usage as well. Um, so it says how, many, how much energy I've used. That's not massively readable but yeah uh yeah that is what it is uh all apps again yeah where am i as well so this will tell me where i am and the coordinates as well and then we go one more page over got gps position position 
think that's just exactly the same thing. Yeah, it's telling me where I am, how many satellites we're using. Interesting. And then we have got system information as well, so version information, we've got whatever software this is running, we've got license information and that sort of good stuff in there. And then we have got Amazon Alexa. Not sure if this will actually work. We did try this on the Nissan Qashqai last time, and this didn't do anything, unfortunately. Um, I think the data on the car hadn't been set up, so that might not work. Um, and I'm not going to wait for it to do it either. <laughs> so um, Nissan Connect services, that will... Yeah, you can, again, you can call various people if you need to for help. Um, and then we have got, that's literally it, I think. Uh, there's connections up here, which is just the same thing as your phones in there. You connect the car to Wi-Fi, Android Auto. Ah, okay, so Android Auto is wired by the look of things. So not wireless, but Apple CarPlay is wireless. Okay, fine. And then there is a settings button up here, so that might just be a shortcut again. No, this is a system menu settings now. So got connections again. This is this, that button is everywhere. Uh, we've got navigation settings. So you've got map settings and map orientations and point of interest icons, traffic information, split screen, all that stuff in there. Voice guidance, how loud it's going to be or whether it's on or off. Edit user information, safety guides. And then we have got sound and tones. So got sounds and different options in there. So we've got just the bass, bass enhancers, speed sensitive volumes, volume and beeps how loud everything's going to be, which is all good in there. Got system voice, uh, initial voice prompts. You can choose if you want male or female. Speak over prompts. Hello, Nissan. Hello, Nissan. Nope. Okay. Cool. <laughs> system update, uh, version information. Again, okay, same stuff in there. Got a software update as well. So software update, loading new software. Let's see where it pulls it from. This car hasn't got a working SIM, so I'm not entirely sure what it's going to pick it up from. Um, it might be one of these things we have to plug it in manually. Um, so I'm going to wait for that to time out. Okay, so we did get there eventually, but there's the latest software is on here. Same for maps, we've got customized menus. We've also got a clock option in there. So we've got on-screen clock, clock mode auto, offset the clock as well. Customized menu, so you can see what order everything's in. So customize the home menu. And you can drag widgets around if you need to. So you can pop that there and then change that arrangement, which is quite good. Customize audio sources, so you can customize exactly where the audio is going to come from and different options in there. Um, got system settings as well, so display, um, brightness. There's also a brightness control here, um, which puts you in dark mode, night mode, and we've got brightness. Let's whack that all the way up and see what it looks like. A bit slow to respond. Units, language, type of keyboards, all that sort of good stuff in there. And we have got one more page. We've got Nissan Connect services again. I think that's going to be, that's the settings for that section, okay. Charge reminders and stuff in there. Information channel settings, uh, unit ID information. It's got different options in there. Connect, reset all settings, privacy mode. And we have got camera. So there's a rear view camera on here. So you can choose how bright everything's going to be. Uh, we've got climate settings. So let's see what options are in here. I don't think that's going to do anything. Nope. Okay. Edit users. And then we've got apps. Smartphone projection, vehicles, there's some help guides in there basically. And then we have got EV settings as well. So it's battery and power alerts, charging messages, that sort of good stuff. So that's been a look at the infotainment system on the Nissan Aria. If you like this sort of content, don't forget to subscribe to Interface Cars. My name's Alex, and I'll see you again next time.